Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit, coming to you with another video on a super cold day here in Connecticut. It is, it's getting really, really cold. And I wanna make a video for, you know, the new reseller, for the reseller who's been doing this for a while. Maybe you're running other businesses as well. And this is something that I've fallen into the trap of multiple times when it, when it comes to running my businesses. And at the end of the day, you know, you gotta understand you either are getting the results or you're not getting the results. As a reseller, you're either making money or you're not making money. That's the ultimate scorecard when you're running a business. You're not running a business just to be cool, to tell people, oh, I'm running a business, which is what a lot of people do now. You're not running a business just so you can take pictures for social media, which is what a lot of people are doing nowadays. You're running a business to make money. That's what matters at the end of the day. Not only money and revenue, because we live in the, you know, the year 2021 where people are showing off big numbers and at the end of the day, how much profit are you really making? That's what matters. Not only how much money, but how much profit are you making? And I noticed that a lot of resellers and entrepreneurs in general fall into these three personality types. Uh, personality type number one is the reseller who, and just not resellers, but entrepreneurs in general, the entrepreneur I'll call it, who we'll call them the idea entrepreneur. You know, have you ever met somebody who has a million and one ideas? You know, this is a reselling YouTube channel, so let's talk about reselling. You ever met somebody who says, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, you know? I've got these huge ideas for sourcing all these products and I'm gonna get a warehouse and, you know, they've always got a new idea for how they're gonna grow their business and make money, right? But that's where it stops. They just have ideas. And then the second personality type of, of the entrepreneur is somebody who has the idea and then they, they're just a planner. They've got journals and journals and notepads and freaking, they've just got so many ideas, but they've also put them into plans and they've planned it all out so methodically. They can tell you for the next two hours exactly what they're going to do. That's personality type number two. They have the ideas, but then they plan it out like crazy, but that's where it stops. And then the third personality type, and this is where you ultimately wanna to get to. And you know, over the last couple of days, I've been, uh, you know, I've been, going through this uh, this new audio book, and it's got me to realize that at the end of the day, having an idea doesn't matter. Planning like crazy, which is important, doesn't matter, but what gets you paid and what puts the profits in your pockets is personality type number three, which is the execution personality, the person who's executing, right? Are you executing on your idea, which then turns into a plan, and then you're ultimately doing it, because that's what you're getting paid for. You make money, solely based upon your performance, the value that you're bringing to the market. You wanna make more money, Jim Rohn talks about this all the time, Tony Robbins talks about this all the time. If you wanna make more money, you've gotta bring more value to the market. The reseller and the entrepreneur who gets rewarded is the one who executes. So ask yourself, what personality or what bucket are you or what bucket am I falling into more often than not? You know, it's not about having, you know, you can have a million great ideas, but it doesn't matter. Like if you don't move those ideas into actual plans, then it means nothing. But then once you have the plans, what matters most is how well are you executing? How well are you getting done? How well are you getting your product, your service to the market? How well are you listing your items? That's what it comes down to. You could, you know, sit and daydream about liquidation and pallets and private label and wholesale and you know, you map out all the thrift stores that you're gonna go to, but how well do you actually take that idea and then those plans and execute on them? And there's different levels to execution. There's different levels to executing on your idea and your plan because you could execute on going to all the thrift stores and finding all the products and now you have a, you know, a JCPenney outlet in your basement. <laughs> but how well do you execute on the, on the next steps of the plan, which is listing all your items? And then there's a lot more that even goes into it as well. You have to ask yourself, the plan and the idea that I had that I executed on, now you have to measure, are you getting the results that you want? Because at the end of the day, you can execute fantastically, but if the plan and the idea that's underlining it all is flawed or isn't what the market wants, like you can go out and source you know, a bunch of crappy items from the thrift stores, but if you're executing on your plan and listing them and they're all selling for five bucks, and you're paying three, you're losing money. So I just wanted to kind of bring this to your forefront of your mind to just ask you, what bucket are you falling into? So I think the big lessons in this video is 
Are you a person who's spending all your time thinking of ideas? We all know those people. Are you the type of person who has a bunch of ideas and then you plan it all out, but then when it comes down to executing, you're just not getting it done? Or are you the type of person who has a plan, has ideas, maybe you have a thousand ideas, but you pick one or two and you execute and you get it done, and then you measure your results and you tweak, you know, you tweak your plan to get what you want. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, how this video hits you, what you're taking from this video, how you're gonna apply it to your reselling business. And with that being said, much love.